Okay. Yeah, we were in, uh, look, I don't know, some branding class, and he was telling this one. Hey, start. Real quick. It was before you announced the signing, so I remember. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. I, gotcha. I, at first, I like, I almost didn't believe him. He's like, yo, my brother's about to sign a TV. Yeah, I was like, like, I just think a lion. I, I was like, look at your Spotify first. I'm like, I mean, he's fire, but yeah, like, like yeah. where's, where's the, how am I supposed to believe? And then yeah. I, when I saw the announcement, I was like, this is insane. Yeah, no, we got, I got a crazier story. We was at, um, you remember Jacking for Beats? Yes. On Melrose? Yes. When you wrapped inside what? the house and got recorded in there. No! And you was the winner. Yeah, that's pro circle moment. Look, I'm still drinking Jack, honey. Double get your honey Jack. Lost last time. Came to get the money back. I bet I get it. If not, the homie punching straps. That's a lot. Riding on the metal like the Hummer flap. That it's is crazy. So fucking crazy. That is crazy. You have no idea how crazy that is. That's so crazy. That's I watch crazy. that video like maybe once every month, bro, just to remind myself of like where I can that exact video. You recorded yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, I recorded it. Yeah. Where, where 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 were you in life? Bro, when so that so video I was, was so I was working a job at Turf Terminators. I hated this fucking job. They treated me like shit, but um, they was the first people to hire me and whatnot. And literally, uh, my boy told me about a, a contest called Jack Up for Beats. And literally, yeah. um, I was writing. It's funny. I wrote Better Days that day while I was at work. Wow. That day while I was at work, I wrote Better Days. He told me about Jack Up for Beats. And I was supposed to go to the studio and record Better Days. But he was like, yo, the last day that they're recording is today. You got to, you know, make the cut to be able to go to the next round or whatever. And so he gave me the address. And I wrote my verse at work. And then I left work early. And they had, like, a truck set up outside. There's a bunch of people there. Everybody was waiting for their test to like you walk into the studio truck, you record it, you leave. Walk to the studio yeah. truck, record it, and leave or whatever. So I'm in line practicing my verse. I'm just practicing it like going over and over again. So when I'm rapping, I'm if you look at the video, I'm looking up at the ceiling the whole time because I'm trying to remember my verse because I just wrote it like four hours ago. They don't know it yet. Thank God I made it through them voting steps. In blue shoes, walking with the coldest steps. All white kicks. I be polar fresh. I feel like I, don't, I feel like out of all you five, man, I appreciate everybody, but I think reason one on this one, bro. So if y'all could dab each other up, man, I think everybody will come through, man. I need all y'all to stay real fast. All five y'all to stay real fast. I gotta get a drop from every one of you guys. That's all five. Thank you, bro. And like I said, reason, I'm a man of my word, bro. So you can count it real fast. That's 500. I don't blow it all in one spot. You know, we busy, busy say you could go to Super Club with him. You know, he said you could go half on a blood, whatever that place is in LA, man. That's 500. Appreciate it, man. Right. It's the LA top five, there's reason I'm jacking for beats. That shit is just crazy. That's that was true. the first situation that let me know that I could really do this. It's like it's confirmation. A, it was like super pressured, last minute, and I still was one of the best ones that day. So that was one of the moments that give me like, that's why I watch it like once every month, just to like kind of remind myself yeah. like, you know, you're supposed to be here. You know what I mean? Like you, you you're doing, you're walking your path and everything like that. So that is fucking crazy, bro. That's really crazy. That's wild full circle. And, and, and I feel like it's crazy because sometimes uh, you know deep down how far you've come, but it's, it's hard until you look back at yourself. Because yeah, you look at your yeah. peers, you look at competition, but when you look yeah. at yourself from years exactly. ago. Well, what it, what it is is that it's like it's hard to have the bigger picture when you're living in such the narrow picture, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And so it's like, like you said, you just, you're always looking for it and trying to remember, you know, where you're trying to go, but it's hard to, to really focus on that and really get a good, like, glimpse of it when you forget about all the shit that has happened behind you, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's really what it comes down to is you trying to remember that, but I try to do that though. I try to save certain things. There's certain little key points in my life that I try to save just to remind myself, like, you know, you really got this shit out the mud. Like, I didn't have, the big manager or the big yeah. co-sign or the, the uncle that was this person, you know what I mean? Like, I really had to, like, figure it out, you know what I mean? So these moments, they remind me of that. What are some other moments that you look back on that are really important in that journey? Um, so it was it was also part of Jack of the Beast. It was a second um, uh, re-edition of that. Um, it was, uh, they had, like, a, a contest with uh, DJ Envy was the uh, judge. Angela Yee was the judge. That was another one. There was a thing called the rap contest um, that I did, and that, I ended up winning the whole entire thing when nobody really knew who I was. I went to South by Southwest once, uh, rap for Sway, and ended up uh, making the top 10 out of all the artists there. It was literally 2,000 artists there, and wow. I made the top 10 up there. So yeah, there's a few moments that, um, yeah. you know what I mean, I, I got to have that just kind of just, you know what I mean, like reconfirmation and whatnot, and, and you know, give you that, that 
perspective of like, yo, it's been, you know, a long, long journey. We still got a long way to go, but we should celebrate, you know, where we come from. Yeah. And now you're on the Creed 3 soundtrack. Creed 3 soundtrack. Shout out to Cole, Dreamville. Yeah, the they Dreamville. show love. Yeah, they're my and brothers, you went man. hard on that. Thank, thank you. Thank how you. was it to finally hear your verse and just like know that you're a part of this moment. Yeah. You've been a part of two massive soundtracks. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Black Panther and then now the Creed 3 joint and then I was also part of the uh, the Revenge of the yeah, yeah, Creed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, with Dreamville. Dreamville shows a lot of love. Like, they're my brothers. Um, It's like this... You know, this this the fans want it to be a war, like a T D yeah, versus yeah, yeah. but it, it's like those is like those is my family and they've done so much for me, you know what I mean? It's not no that's really like my second family over there, you know what I mean? But uh it's it's surreal though. Um I think the Black Panther one hit closer to home because it's Black Panther, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like and it's dot, like, you know what I mean? But that's not to belittle this like this Creed three thing was a big deal and they they always think about me and I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, when you played Cole uh the verse, that I think that's one of the funniest videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you nervous to play it for him? Nah, so it's, it's funny, I was drunk, so I wasn't really like, I wasn't really like caught up in like nerves. I was like, me and Kyle's was really going back and forth. The, the song actually wasn't done yet, so where, where it cuts off on the video, it's like where we were at. But we were just drunk, having fun, and Cole, it's funny because like Cole really pulled up in a Lambo truck, and that's where it came from. It's like, me and Kyle's were drunk, we was like, I've never felt so broke. Like, because the yeah. day before, people don't know the day before, we were out there for the sessions, and Cole was complaining about getting a rental car. It's like, I can't get a rental car, I can't get Ubers, nobody's Ubering. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, he, and then the next day he just pulled up in a Lambo truck like and I was just like this is really some rich like this is the richest shit I've yeah, ever seen yeah, in the yeah. world and so we were just like yo we should rob this nigga like you know what I mean and then Kaz was and Kaz literally said when I said that to him I was like we should like we should rob this nigga he was yeah. like rob like rob that nigga that's where it came from he was like rob that nigga and I was like no like not really rob the nigga but like you yeah, know yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's where the concept came from and then we just we was just having fun bro it was dope yeah, well yeah, the yeah. name is Reason did you have a rap name prior to that People might not know, like on SoundCloud somewhere, on MySpace. I, I didn't, however, I went through a bunch of rap names and I wanted them to start with an R. My name is Rob, so I wanted my name to start with an R. Yeah, okay. um, and I went through a bunch of very bad names. Rampage, uh, I had RJ before RJ was okay, popping, yeah, yeah, that was a name. Um, I had Rizzle, which was crazy. I don't know where Riz, I was. Rizzo? Rizzo. Like, 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 like Rizzle. nice Rizzle. But hey, Rizzo. now, now, now yeah. people are using the term Riz, so you yeah. might have been the, the, I would have been okay. Riz, I would have been yeah. okay, but at the time it was awful. Um, but I was in the group chat with the homies, and Reason is the one that we kind of settled on, and um, it made sense for what I was trying to do. What do you think your reason is for being on this planet? Honestly, to, to, to love. Like, I feel like that's kind of how I use my life. It's like whatever I can do for people, whatever. Um, it doesn't matter what position I have. I, I live by the rule. If I can do it, I will do it. You know what I mean? And yeah. I, I walk by that. And that, that you know, it's, it's bit me in the ass sometimes. But more times that it's bit me in the ass, it's, it's made me feel good. It makes yeah. me feel good to do things for other people and then see those good things pay off. Um, and so that's what I feel like I'm here to do. I believe we live multiple lives. Um, I feel like my first life was basketball. I played that my whole okay, life. Yeah, yeah. You know, that life is gone. This is my second life. I'm excited to see what the third one is and the fourth one is. But throughout all of it, I just want to keep showing love. That's my biggest thing. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I think it's my last life. I always, yeah. feel, I feel, I always feel like I'm like I'm in the position where I'm like, yeah. okay, it's, it's going so this well. Is it. Yeah, 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 this yeah. Is it. yeah. All right, finally, we're showing love to Lil Wayne, yes, uh, one of the yes. goats. I know he, he had Eagle. a special Eagle. guest set yesterday. What's your favorite yeah. Wayne verse of all time? Jesus Christ, that is difficult. It's tough. There's yeah, a lot. that's tough. Um, I probably say one of my one of my favorite because I can't pick a favorite. Yeah, yeah. But one of my is because uh, the whole song is a verse. It's not a hook, but it's uh, uh, got a bitch named Keisha. She a real dick. Please, if Shawty from Cuba still working on it, like wait, yeah, wait, yeah, that was go. crazy. I can, yeah, 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 I can go. I can talk. He's your goat. That is my greatest. Yeah. Like for yeah. me, I think that that is the greatest rapper of all time. I don't think that they're like we can talk about specific lists for other things. Yeah. But just for me, rap skill. Yeah. I just feel like rapping is about skill and legacy. That's what I view rap as. And skill wise, he's one of the greatest. If not the greatest, and then legacy wise, he has him, Drake and Nicki. I don't think you can compete yeah. with that. I, I would say I he has the greatest that. impact in rap history. There, I don't think you can even yeah. argue. Like he has Drake, Wayne, uh, I mean, he has, yeah, Drake himself, 
Nikki, Tiger, Tiger. Like it's like you yeah. can't you can't really you know what I mean? Like yeah. and then all the artists that he birthed with remixes and verses. And even if you want to go like to Thug or something like you know that. You know what I'm saying? Know? Like it's like you can't really like everybody wants to look like like he said in that verse on Kelly, she said, I'm yeah. the apex. Like he is. Everybody has dreads, tattoos, and wants yeah. to look and dress and walk and talk yeah. like Wayne. That is that is the goat. There's nothing that he said about that. 